Hello there. Well, you know now, of course, that the whole of Britain is facing some new restrictions throughout the month of November. It's not the news that any of us wanted to hear, but it is a reflection of the fact that coronavirus continues to grow within our communities, and that's a trend we simply have to reverse. Reversing it is important not just for our own health, but because we need to protect the NHS and make sure it has capacity to deal with other patients, not just with coronavirus, but with other med medical conditions throughout this winter as well. It's now down to all of us, you and me, to do what we can to protect the NHS and ensure it can go on caring for us. In terms of the Council's response during November, I just want to reassure you that, unlike some local authorities, we never switched off our package of care for those who are most vulnerable. It means we're now very, very well placed to ramp things up should we need to do so. We're focusing on two big priorities. The first, of course, is people and families who are vulnerable. They may be those who the NHS have described as being clinically vulnerable. But I also want to be clear that here in Dartford, we take a different, slightly wider approach to vulnerability. We take the view that if anybody is genuinely vulnerable in this town, we want them to contact us to see if we can help. If we can provide services directly, we'll do so. If we can't, we almost certainly can put you in touch with people who can. There's absolutely no shame at all in asking for help at this time, because I know that coronavirus and the effect of lockdown have borne down heavily on local families. Uh, they cause great worries about mental health issues, uh, anxiety over work and employment, and anxiety about family and health. Now is the time to seek help if you need it, and we'll try to be there to help you if we can. Our other big priority is the local economy and businesses. It's so terribly, terribly frustrating to think that many businesses were just about getting back on their feet. And now these new restrictions have come along, necessary though they are, uh, that may affect them again. Now we've been lobbying hard for a new package of support and help for local businesses. And I'm pleased to say the government has listened and more help is on the way. And the pledge that I give to you is the pledge I made back in the summer, which is that when help is available, we'll make sure it gets to you with the minimum of bureaucracy and the maximum of speed. In that way, we can help and enhance our local economy to make sure that when the better times come, uh, those businesses are there to serve our town as they've done so magnificently in the past. This is undoubtedly going to be a challenging month, but our aim at the end of it, in early December, has got to be to have repressed the growth of coronavirus in this town to the extent that we can return to being a tier one or possibly a tier two authority. And that will mean the release of so many of these restrictions that are affecting our everyday life. Now, I need your help in achieving all that. So please do heed the advice, uh, keep seeing the warnings. And in our own daily life as shopping and home and working, please do the right thing whenever you can. It's truly, truly important that we all stick together now, do the right thing and take care of each other. The pledge I make to you as the leader of Dark Borough Council is that we'll go on providing what I hope has been common sense and straightforward leadership through this period. Together, Dartford can come through this and come through it stronger. Thank you very much.